Hey, how's everybody doing? So welcome to the channel. Uh, you have to excuse me, I'm on uh, sweats and stuff like that. I was working out a little bit here, back here. So I figured it's the perfect time to uh, do a video on the uh, four post lift. Um, one of my uh, subscribers, viewers, wanted to uh, see a video a little more in depth on my four post Atlas lift. So here it is. So on this lift, it actually is high enough that I am 6'2", and I can literally walk underneath it without touching anything, which is really cool. Um, I can also work on the car. Um, it also comes with what's above me here are drip trays. Very important. When you buy this lift, you're probably... I bought it like six, seven years ago. So if I'm correct, I think I got like three trays with it. I don't know what they're offering now, but I think it was like three trays and you get a, a steel jack tray, which is really cool. If you want to lift your car while you have it on the lift to change your tires, that's what it's for. Uh, you still have to buy the jack. And if you want to lift it at the same time, obviously you'll need two jacks and you'll need another jack tray which that could get a little costly. So they have a good concept with it. Um, I really do love these things. They save a lot of space. Obviously I do, I have two of those plus the scissor one. So I have three lifts, one for basically detailing and doing minor works on my car, which is the scissors lift, which you already seen the video. And then I also have these two guys, which save me a lot of space. I, I can use my gym and don't have to park a car in there and I can park two cars in a two car garage and still have a half a garage for a gym, which is very important to work out, which I enjoy very much. So uh, whenever I can get to it and my job allows me to do so. So getting over here to more or less explain how this thing functions. So basically, if you guys can see here, might get a little blurry or whatever. I don't have a lot of light in here because it's basically for storage. So I don't need a lot of light. And if that's the case, I have other lights that I can use if I want to work on something. This is the lever for it. If you guys can see that, there you go. All right, so what happens with this guy, I marked it, that way I know. You basically have to go past your square, it clicks. Now what I'm gonna do here is, should be able to do this magic trick. So basically, I this button right here, you just press it. You guys can hear it. You can see how the lever moves front. So basically you do this. So I'll show you guys real quick here. So basically you do this. All right, if you guys are watching, this is a pretty cool trick. And then you press the lever and it comes down. And what I'm doing is, I'm pressing this lever. The other one has the same thing. It's the same setup for the scissors lift as it is for this, but this is a little different because it has the, it's a four post. Um, I'm trying to show you guys, got, you got your bar here. Sorry if it's a little blurry, just because in here, for some reason, with the lighting, it doesn't quite show it. So I'm really, really apologize for the blurriness. All right, so anyway, so I'll show you guys real quick here. Now, this lever is right here. So there you go, it's a little better. Okay, so here it comes. See how the lever moves? <laughs> Click, that's it. Sometimes it can get a little loud, that's okay. It's, nothing's gonna happen. Like I said, I've had it for seven years, at least seven years, I'm pretty sure. At least the one in the front was at least seven years. This one, easily six years. They were about a year apart uh, because I know how to do construction and stuff like that as well. So I built this garage. I actually, me and someone else, I had someone actually help me. Um, and we built it. And then I did all the inside work. So I'm very proud of it. I really am. So there you go. Getting back to the lift. I, sorry, I, I get really distracted. I don't know why, but I just do. So... Basically the drip trays, like I mentioned before, that's very important. So what I'm gonna do here is, before I get all sidetracked again, 
you guys can watch this. So basically, you just go up. You can see how every time it gets past something, see how the lever moves. And now I'm past that. So being that I'm past that now, I grab this lever and relax it. It's that easy. It is absolutely awesome. I'm always a little weird because, you know, at the beginning, you're walking underneath it, but I also put a plate in the front. So I have, what I did is instead of having both of them in the back, I put one in the front and I put one in the back. It gives me a little bit of insurance. Like I said, this thing's in. It's not going anywhere. Cable's nice and tight. Um, this one's nice and tight too. They're all tight. I always keep an eye on this kind of stuff just because, you know, it is something that you're using. I bet I use this, I don't know. For me, I don't use it as much as the average person um, for the simple fact that I don't use these cars all the time. So, but still, it gets used for all the years I've had it, it gets used quite a bit. And like I said, you can tell, cables are tight. And then over here is the ramps. You guys can see. I don't know, I'm gonna have to check out, see what's going on with this camera because I know it's getting a little blurry. So I do apologize for that, I really do. Um, I'm not sure why it's acting like that, but I'm gonna have to check it out. But I want you guys to get the concept of what's, what this is four post lift is. So again, the, it goes in here, as you can see, right there right here is where you put those two ramps so you bring it all the way down put the ramps now behind me you guys are probably going hey dude what's up with the uh the wheels behind you well believe it or not these things are designed that they have I'm trying to remember where that's at ah there it is there is a pin I mean a hole there and that hole is for this right there so I have four of them and basically is because I have four posts so the really cool thing about that is you put your you bring them in the fact is you know what I'm gonna do something better I'm almost positive, I haven't done this in years, but uh, I'm trying to hold the phone and do this at the same time. Just say camera, phone, whatever you want to call it. So I want to show you guys, this stuff is pretty cool. So basically, that's how it is. That pin goes on the other side. And then this part right here goes on the frame right there. Then once you put, there I am. <laughs> once you put all four of these guys on there and you bring it down, you can literally grab your lift and roll around the garage anywhere you want. <laughs> that is so cool. I think uh, since I've owned these, I did it once before I had the gym in here. That was so cool because you can literally put your car on it and you can just roll it around and it, it rolls real easy. It really does. These wheels, not, not a problem. Two people, you can roll your lift and someone, Someone else gives you a hand to control a little bit and two people can just roll it in here. You can put that lift anywhere you want and then you just lift it back up. I mean, they're, they're cool. It was, it was awesome concept. It really is. So I'm hoping this, with this video, you can see what, um, what you can do with this lift. And I wanted to show you as much as possible or as much as I know. And like I said, I've owned them for a long time and they're really sweet.
They really are. I, I wouldn't want to own a garage and be without a lift. Um, you know, when you're in your early 20s, you can get underneath the car and only have a couple inches of clearance. Yay. You get older. I like walking underneath it if I'm going to work on it. Uh, it just makes it makes everything you do so much easier. So the bottom line is it all depends what you want your lift for. That determines what kind of lift you want to get. That's basically in a nutshell. So there you guys have it. And uh, of course, there's my Supra. I love that car. I really do. So I, I, I just do. I've, I've never in my life thought I would actually get one this soon. Um, but I came across this one and phew, this was a good deal. And it was a sweet ride. So anyway... And I, again, I apologize. This thing is like acting really goofy. I take it away. I put it away. I come back close. It acts really weird. So anyway, um, that's pretty much it. So for today's video, it's my Atlas four, four post lift um, and what, it, what mechanism, mechanisms and how it works. And as you can see, I gave you a little bit of demonstration there and you guys can get the concept of it. So thanks for watching. And if you subscribe... Thanks for subscribing, and if you haven't, hit that button. Subscribe. Let's have some fun. This, this is cool. Um, I just I enjoy YouTube, and I enjoy the great people that I meet, and um, this is this is awesome. It, it really is. Plus, I can try to educate and uh, help people out, and hopefully, this will help people out and making decisions of what they want to do and what maybe they can do something better yet. And then, then what I did and maybe learn from my mistakes and they won't make theirs. And, you know, everybody knows how this works. So thanks again. I know I go rambling on, but I just want to say I want to thank everyone that follows me and everyone that supports me on my dream and of doing YouTube. And uh, we're going to have some fun. There's some cool videos coming up. Uh, definitely, hopefully, at the end of this week. Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping. I really am. I just got to hope doesn't rain because soon guys I'm gonna have to buy a boat I'm gonna have to buy a boat and do a video on a boat because it's raining more than anything else I can't even drive half of my cars because well I can drive them I just don't want to clean them all the time so anyway I go rambling on and I already said goodbye so it's like come on anyway so it must be anyway day um that's pretty much it so you guys take care I'll see you guys on the next vlog. I hope this was educational. If you guys have any questions, shoot me an email. If I don't get back to you right away, I will always get back to you. And um, I really love that um, comment. And if you like the video, hit the like, follow me, subscribe me, share. And we'll see you guys on the next vlog. Take care.